Hey, what's going on guys? Nick and I here back with the Clash Army and today we are loading up my beginner account on Clash of Clans and it's a little bit different today. I'm actually not going to be doing a face cam because as you guys know, I just finished a move to a new place. That's all done and good and uh, we're all set up in the new place. The only thing is I'm waiting on some lighting to make the green screen work effectively and right there, uh, I actually just updated this iPad. I'm running a beta for iOS 8 because I have a developer um, account. So this is actually hardwire recorded. So let me know what you guys think about the quality down below in the comments. So right here, as you know, we just came off of that collector boost. Clash of Clans turned two years old and we are now, uh, you know, we're just past that now. It was the last day yesterday. But I just did my gold on this account. I didn't feel the need to do my elixir as well. So I just did the gold and I am maxed out at 1 million for Town Hall 5. Maxed out on gold completely. I asked my clanmates to throw some raids so they can get featured in this video. So if they want to here, I'm going to open the door and they could start uh, sending some raids and we'll see who sends some. So right here, this is William from my feeder clan, Teach Boom Beach. The clan I'm in with my high level account is Angels and Devils. But the clan that I chill with this account in is Teach Boom Beach, the name of my YouTube channel, which you guys obviously know if you've checked us all out from the Clash Army here. So right here, this is a Balloonian raid, and off the bat, it looks like it's going pretty well. I see some low-level ARD and low-level wizard towers, both of which are generally the hardest part of using this strategy. You're not going to get any Expos or Infernos with a Town Hall 8, and this seems pretty straightforward here. Those balloons are just crushing it. And he did pick up a good amount of loot. I see 270 already racked up on the income side over there. The Archer Queen is going to be able to clutch that Tesla. So she'll stay alive to fight another day. And keeping those heroes alive is the biggest uh, you know, challenge. Once they go down, you lose a lot of damage per second on your whole army. The King was struggling over there in the walls. He never made it to the end of the battle. But that's okay. It was still a good raid. So thank you, William, for that. Uh, I think there's some more in here. So we'll score we'll right there. All right. We've got Dylan here with a clutch 3 star, so let's check it out. 439,000 elixir, 217,000 gold, 1305 dark. Alright, so he's doing the drop everything on one wall strategy with the Balloonian. I like to go with a V shape. It's generally a little more safe and uh, you, get, you get the for sure one star. This can go terribly wrong if your balloons bunch up and they have a lot of splash damage on them. It can really wreck them all. Right here I see a dangerous spot with all these troops. The balloons did take a bunch out with that dropping the bomb right there on that mortar. But there were still a few left and I was actually worried. I'm watching this right now. I'm worried um, if the minions were going to be able to survive here. But the balloons are able to drop some more mortars which you know really aren't doing anything. The heroes aren't even there. And there's one more mortar. The king is not a factor because this is an air attack. So the minions will be able to just take him out and follow him. And let's see here. Balloons drop that Tesla. And there's an archer tower. Look at, a, look at this minion rage right here. These guys are just ripping through buildings. As soon as they approach them, they're just ripping them up. I think those are level 3 or 4 minions. I know 5 goes dark gray and 6 goes dark purple black. Those are the ones I have. And here is the nice HD shot of that town hall going down in two times fast forward motion with only six minions they drop it that quickly right there 25 cups and a really really nice chunk of change over 600,000 loot here we go let's see I know I saw a few more down here so let's check them out um, I accidentally accepted someone into the clan welcome to the clan here is uh, Victor now no, no, one was a defense and one was a fail on offense and I think I don't really want to show that for this video here the first thing we should do next is do our own attack. So let's find a base that's got, you know, some loot, something a little bit challenging, but something that we could preferably three star because I do need some more cups. Here, this one's good because there's a hole in the center. I don't know why people do this. Uh, I'll throw some barbs to make sure there's no bombs. Now I'll throw archers and my clan castle, level uh, six archers and level six balloons come out of there, which are really gonna give this guy a run for his money. I love being in a clan that's ranked higher than you when you aren't that high yet because those troops they give you are just insane. I probably could have found a base that had a ton more loot coming off this collector. I accidentally almost surrendered right there. Coming off this collector raid right here. But I decided to just go for one quicker than keep you guys in the clouds. Uh, since my archers, I put them on the outside there to take out the air defense. This is a guaranteed 3 star because the balloons can't get hit by anything else in the base. 2 stars right there. Now I'm zooming out and I'm seeing this is a classic... In the beginning of the game, people always do this. Towards the end of the game, you don't do this because don't you don't want people to be able to lure the clan castle there. 
but they make you walk around because you're hoping that your troops will be slow or bad enough to where they can uh, avoid a three star just off time alone. That's not going to be a factor here. So let's just wait. I got that archer crew on the bottom about to go mob over on, what is that? Is that like a level 3 barrack or something? I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comments below what level barracks that is. That is a ton of archers and boom, one big volley and it goes down. 3 star, 100%. Let's go back home. Do I want to review Clash of Clans because I just updated my iPad? Never. We'll, play, we'll say never just because I know I have more updates to come as iOS goes as iOS 8 goes global, I know I'm going to have to see that message like three times anyway. So gold is still full, and this is a dilemma. I've got an air defense, an elixir drill, and a cannon all getting maxed out. Let's fill up the troops. I've just been barging here, so that really works at this level. And that's probably what I'll do for a while, just because it's cheap. And let's see, no more... Re oh wait, there's one more replay here. Sam Wilson. It was for the cups, is what he said. Okay, we'll see how many cups it's for at the end here. So it looks like ba uh, barbs. What else are we going to arch? So that's barge already. And, oh, minions wave behind them. That's a bam right there. The only thing I would have recommended, Sam, is do both sides equally with a bam. If you do all one side like this, look at that. Your troops are already gone. And now it's just a hero and P.E.K.K.A. raid, basically. Um, the mortars can really destroy them and... I don't know, the main point with the BAM is generally just a 1 star, you're going a little bit above and beyond here doing this kind of raid, but I guess I'm just not used to seeing a BAM all on one side like that, but not, not that this is a bad raid, it's a pretty decent raid here. Alright, Hero's going up the side, King's gonna go down there, Queen's gonna go down there, and the, er, Pekka, and the Queen never lasts, whenever there's Archer Towers behind economy buildings, you know your Queen's done for, because the Archer Towers are one of the biggest threats to Queens. They just drop her, uh, you know, pretty quickly. No more raids in the chat. Let's just do a little bit of uh, browsing around here and chatting for a second. So let's go over the base and what everything is. The walls are all maxed. I maxed those at level 5. I'm going to plan on maxing them at level 6. My clan castles maxed. My gold storage, my elixir storage are all maxed. My cannons are all at 6 or are going to be at least. Those are maxed. The only thing is the archer towers can go up. But I'm thinking, you know, I should probably save something to upgrade while my town hall's upgrading. Otherwise, I just have builders sitting here. They can't do anything. You know, I'm not trying to spend gems, but when it comes to situations like this, you really have to just kind of weigh your options. So that's 90 gems. Uh, you know, I was at 400 a while ago. The trees are worth more. Gem boxes help us out. That's really only three gem boxes and a couple trees, which isn't impossible to get. So you know what, guys? In this episode here, um, I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to pull the plug on Town Hall 6. So let's just check one more time. My air defense will be going up. My mortar, I think, has to wait. Um, let's just go for it. So Town Hall 6, boom. All the cannons are level 6. I'll see you guys in four days when we have that Town Hall 6. Well, it'll be a couple more because my days are Thursdays for the Clash Army. But maybe I'll start posting uh, my beginner Clash account on my actual channel, Teach Boom Beach. You guys are so close to 100k. We're 3,000 subscribers, I think, as of this video from 100k on my main channel. I hope you enjoyed this Clash Army video, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.